I'm absolutely delighted to be at the conference this year. It gave me an opportunity to meet with some of the researchers and uh, people that are working on um, diagnosis and, and intervention and, and best practices. It, got me, it gave me a chance to meet with some of the parents and people who are dealing on a daily basis with, uh, with our children and with individuals with FASD. To know that somebody is born with a condition that is preventable, that has changed their whole life, breaks my heart. I believe that the two areas of FASD that we as government should be looking at is not just the prevention, but supporting individuals that, uh, that now have a condition. We are focused on the education side of it uh, in many ways uh, to ensure that young people, not just women, but young men as well, are aware that they're going to impact an individual, someone that's going to live in society not being able to reach the potential that could have been there if, to, if there would have been something different happened in the nine months before they were born. But if it doesn't happen, then how can we as a society work towards ensuring that this individual, this young person, this young baby, work out, can do the very, very best, that, they can, that their life can be, still be a, a, a really important part and add to, to society? It's a responsibility of government, it's a responsibility of society, and it's a personal responsibility. And for me, we're adding those three uh, issues together, the three, the three various stages of responsibility, it can make a difference. We heard today about change. We heard, we, they talked about, about looking at, at uh, FASD from a different focus. And I think we need to do that. But at the same time, we have to put in, in place everything we can to make society accepting and at the same time bring an awareness of what's happening uh, and what could happen to our children.